Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. We have been doing some percentage problems for the last few days, and today we're going to continue with those uh, percentage problems and we're going to do set number 7. Today is our lesson number 14. Let's begin. Today we're going to do something different. Today we're going to do something different. It, these are going to these are going to be percentage problems, but a little bit different variety of percentage problems. We will be, we'll be given two quantities in the two columns, column A and column B. And all we have to figure out is which column is bigger. Let's begin. 40 percent, 40 percent of 250 versus, versus 20 percent of 500. What I want you to do is pause the video at this point, pause the video at this point, do what you have to do and once you have the answer then you can continue watching the video. Which one is bigger? 40% of 250 or 20% of 500? 40% of 500. Let's see what we can do. What do you notice here? What you should notice is that we have 40% here and we have 20% here. We have half the percentages Listen very carefully. We have half the percentage. We have 20% as opposed to 40%. We have half the percentages of, of twice the number. Even though this is 20% as opposed to 40%, but we are taking half the percentage of twice the number. They are equal. They are equal. That's all. There's no, they are equal. Let's do one more. How about how about 40% of 40% of 250 versus 80% of 125? Which one is bigger? 80% of 125 or 40% of 250? Well, we have we have twice the percentage instead of 40%, instead of 40% we have 80%. We have twice the percentage, but half the number. Instead of 250, we have half the number. Half the number, but twice the percentage. They're going to cancel each other out. They're going to negate each other. And it will turn out that these two quantities are also equal to each other. The question was, which column is bigger? The answer is, neither is bigger. They're both equal to each other. Both columns are equal to each other. Let's do one. Let's do another pair. Let's do one more pair. Thirty percent of seven hundred versus fifteen percent of no. If at this point you are able to tell what I'm going to put here, then you're getting the concept. This is thirty percent, and this is fifteen percent. We have half the percentage. Since the percentage has been cut in half, we need to have twice the amount. And now again, these two quantities are equal to each other. Because yes, it is true, it is true that we have half the percentages before. Instead of 30%, we have 15%. But the amount that we have is twice as large as before. So again, they're going to negate each other. Let's do one more. How about, how about 30% of 700 versus, versus 60% of, what are you supposed to go here? 60% of what? We have twice the percent, instead of 30%, we have 60%, we have twice the percentage. Since the percentage is twice as much, the amount has to be half as much in order for that to be equal. Instead of 700, we have half of 700, which is 350. Let's do one more pair, shall we? Let's do one more pair. About 40% of 600, 40% of 600 versus 80% of, 80% of what is going to be equal to this? Question is, 80% of what number is going to be equal to 40% of 600? Well, since this is 80%, this is twice the percentage as opposed to 40%, it is 80%, since it is twice the percentage, in order for these two quantities, we have to, in order, in order for these two quantities to be equal to each other, we need half as much. Instead of 600, we have to have 300. 
80% of 300 will be same as 40% of 600. 40% of 600 is going to be same as, it's going to be same as 20% of what? 20% of what? Again, instead of 40%, we have half the percentage. We have only 20%. Since the percentage is half as much, we need twice the amount in order for these two quantities to be equal to each other. Let's do one more pair, shall we? Let's do one more pair. Just give me a quick second for a break. Let's do one more. Twenty-five percent of four fifty versus fifty percent of two fifty. What do you con what do you conclude? Are these two quantities equal? Well, we have twenty-five percent and here we have fifty percent. That's twice the percentage. Here we have four fifty and here we have aha. We do not have half of 450. In order, in order for these two quantities to be equal, in order for these two quantities to be equal, this amount has to be half of 450. 250 is not half of 450. They are not equal. Half of 450, half of 450 is 225. 225 times 2 is 450. We don't have 225, we have 250. Therefore, 50% 50 of 250 is going to be more than 25% of 450. Let's do one more. How about 25% of 450 as opposed to 12.5% of 900? 12.5% of 900. Well, let's see. Instead of 25%, we have 12.5%. 12 12.5% 12 is half of 25. And therefore, since the percentage is half as much, if this amount happens to be twice as much as that amount, then these two are going to be equal. Is 900 2 times 450? The answer is yes. These two quantities, in that case, are equal to each other. 25% of 450, 25% of 450 is going to be same as 12.5% of 2 times 450, which is 900. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.